capture packets on wired or wireless networks. Now there's a separate course, Wireshark Core Training 3, Capture Traffic, that will focus on all of the different settings that you may use during the capture process. But in this section, I'll just go through basically how Wireshark captures packets, and I'll take you into Wireshark to show you where we can set promiscuous mode on or off inside of Wireshark, and we'll compare promiscuous mode to monitor mode. So let's begin by looking at the capture process. In the Wireshark environment, as it's picking up traffic off of the network, this traffic is going to go through one of three link layer drivers. Win PCAP, if you have a Windows host that you're capturing on and you have Wireshark loaded on that machine. Air PCAP, if you have an Air PCAP connected to your system. Or Live PCAP, if you're capturing, let's say, in the Linux environment. Interestingly enough, Wireshark itself cannot capture packets. Wireshark is the interpretation and the analysis and the graphical interface piece. But when capturing, Wireshark actually calls dumpcap.exe to do the actual packet capture. This is the point at which capture filters can be applied and capture filters use the Berkeley Packet Filtering Format, or BPF format. Capture filters and display filters use different formats in Wireshark. The capture filters use BPF format, and display filters use proprietary Wireshark format. Once the packets have gone through the capture filter, then they are piped up to the capture engine. We'll take a look at this process and what happens next in the section entitled Describe How Wireshark Processes Packets. In order for Wireshark to actually capture packets, Wireshark has to see those packets. You not only have to be in the path that the packets travel, but you also need to have the adapter in promiscuous mode. Promiscuous mode is enabled by default in Wireshark and promiscuous mode allows you to receive packets that are addressed to hardware addresses other than your own. In the example shown in this slide, this is the Wireshark system, and by default, promiscuous mode will be on for any adapter on which we are capturing. But keep in mind, if you have a switch above you, the natural path of the traffic between host A and the server would be to bypass the Wireshark system. Because of that, not only do you need promiscuous mode on, but you also need a way to get into this path. You may choose to go to the switch and turn on port spanning so you get a copy of all the traffic traveling to and from port 1, down your port, port 2. Let's go out to Wireshark and take a look at where promiscuous mode is enabled. In Wireshark, the first two buttons deal with the capture process. The first button lists the available capture interfaces. Here we can see on the system that I'm working on, I have three available interfaces. The next button takes us into the capture options window. So I'll click this button. There are my three interfaces that I saw just a moment ago. And below that, you can see the setting that states, use promiscuous mode on all interfaces, and it's on by default. If you wanted to only use promiscuous mode on one of the interfaces, let's say, you could turn off this setting and then select the interface that you want to enable promiscuous mode on so let's say I will select my Ethernet adapter. I'll double click the adapter listing and then turn on promiscuous mode for that one adapter. When I click OK, I can now see the promiscuous mode column indicates that my Ethernet adapter has promiscuous mode enabled and the other two have promiscuous mode disabled. I'm going to return this back to the defaults because we really do always want promiscuous mode on on all the interfaces. When you hover over that setting, you'll see a very long tooltip explaining that 
you want this on so you can see traffic that's addressed to other hardware addresses on the network. Now let's talk a little bit about monitor mode. Monitor mode is not something that we can enable or disable inside of Wireshark. Monitor mode allows a wireless adapter to listen in on all of the traffic from the various wireless networks around it without joining any one of those networks. If you are capturing on an adapter and it's joined a wireless network, you'd only be able to see traffic to and from hosts on that wireless network. But by going into monitor mode, the adapter doesn't join any wireless network and therefore it listens to all the traffic to and from all the wireless networks. When capturing in the wireless environment, we want to have a combination of monitor mode and promiscuous mode enabled for our adapters.